and welcome to chapter three of this video series called Don't Fear the Horn. In this chapter, we're going to be looking at how to identify different types of French horn. I'm going to show you a clear and simple method so that you can tell which French horns are which. If you've got my book that accompanies this series, you'll find a simple horn identification guide in Appendix A. If you haven't got the book yet, then details of where to buy it are in the description below. I've devised a simple four-step system to identify French horns. Firstly, see how many valves there are. Then, see how many sets of valve slides are on the horn. We can then try the F test, which is playing the written note F on the first face of the treble clef. This is a concert B flat just below middle C. We can also look at the appearance of the horn. This might give us clues as to what type of horn it is. The most basic type of French horn is a single horn, like this one. We can tell this is a single horn because it has three valves and only one set of valve slides. But you might remember from chapter two that we can have two different keys of single horn that can both be used for beginners, B flat and F. So, which horn is which? For that, we have to do the F test. We have to play the concert B flat just below middle C, which is the first space F on the French horn. On the F horn, this will be played on first valve. But on the B flat horn, it will be played on open. There's also a difference in appearance between the F and the B flat single horns. The F horn is longer, so there's more tubing to wrap around. The valve slides are also longer on the F horn. You can get special single horns for young students. These are called mini rap instruments or mini horns, sometimes called kinder horns. These are the same length as regular singles, but are just wound a little bit tighter so they're easier to hold for those younger children. We'll deal more with mini rap horns in chapters six and seven when we'll talk about the single F and the single B flat horn. If we combine the B flat single and the F single, we get the most popular type of French horn, the double. And we can see that this French horn has four valves, three at the front and also a thumb valve or trigger. It also has two sets of valve slides. To complicate things ever so slightly, there are two different types of double horn. The full double and the compensating double. On a full double horn, when the air goes through the F side, it doesn't go through the B flat side at all. However, on a compensating horn, to make an F side, we use the B flat side plus some extra compensating tubing. This makes the compensating horn that much lighter than the full double itself. On most full double horns, when the thumb is up, the horn plays in F. And when the thumb is down, the horn plays in B flat. But this is not always the case. Some horns can be set to be in reverse. So to find out which way a horn is set, we have to do the F test. If the French horn plays an F when the thumb is up on first valve, we say the horn stands or sometimes sits in F. When we press the thumb down, we'll now play an F on open as we're moving the instrument into B flat. If, however, when the thumb is up, we play the F on open, the instrument stands in B flat. Once we press the thumb down, that then moves the horn into F and we have to press down the first valve to play that F. There are other types of French horn as well, although they're not as popular as the single or double horn. These include the B flat single with a stopping valve. This horn has 
four vowels, but only one set of vowel slides. You can also get alto horns, which might have five vowels and two sets of vowel slides, or even triple horns, like this one that I play, that has five valves and three sets of valve slides. You might come across another instrument that may look to you like a French horn, but it's actually a completely different instrument altogether. This instrument here is called a tenor core, although it does go under other names as well, but it's pitched in E flat, not in F. This is definitely not a French horn. We'll find out more about these different French horns in the coming chapters. But for the next chapter, we're going to return to one of my favourite subjects that we mentioned in the brief history of the horn, and that's the harmonic series. If we can understand how the harmonic series works, we can really understand how the French horn relates to all the other brass instruments. So I look forward to seeing you then in chapter four. In the meantime, please like, comment and subscribe. For now, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.